Chapter Twenty Three of The Tale of Miss Kitty Cat. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. A secret. Miss Kitty Cat was behaving in the strangest manner. She came into the kitchen and hovered about the feet of Farmer Green's wife mewing and looking up at mrs green as if she had something special to tell her what is it kitty mrs green asked her are you hungry but miss kitty cat soon showed that she wasn't hungry for she wouldn't touch anything that mrs green offered her well you'll have to run away anyhow mrs green told her i can't take a step with you right under my feet though miss kitty cat trotted towards the door she soon made it plain that she didn't intend to leave the kitchen unless her mistress went with her she came back and twitched mrs green's apron gently with her claws then she ran to the doorway again and called to mrs green it seemed to miss kitty cat that she couldn't have said more clearly that she wanted to lead mrs green somewhere but still mrs green didn't quite understand scat she cried just a bit impatiently i've too much to do to be bothered this morning i suppose you've caught a mouse and want to show it to me you'll have to bring it here for i haven't any time to waste today miss kitty cat felt somewhat hurt she went out and sat on the doorstep and looked in at farmer green's wife now and then she gave a plaintive mew but mrs green wouldn't pay any attention to her dear me said miss kitty mrs green is busier than ever this morning old dog spot had been watching miss kitty's actions and now as she started towards the barn he sidled up to her wagging his tail to show her that he wanted to have a few friendly words with her if mrs green won't come with you i'll be glad to he offered just lead the way and i'll follow you miss kitty cat exclaimed with scorn you needn't think i'd take you where i wanted mrs green to come you needn't think i'd show you what i want to show her Who cried old spot i don't know how you're going to stop me from following you i do said miss kitty firmly if you try to tag along with me where i'm going i'll soon make you wish you had minded your own affairs there was a look in her eyes that old spot did not like it reminded him of the time when he cornered miss kitty in the barn soon after she arrived at the farm he remembered that his nose still bore the marks of her sharp claws well well he said i was only joking i'm too busy to bother with you anyhow i have a little matter to attend in the pasture there's a woodchuck up there that's getting too bold then he trotted off trying to look as important as possible so that no one would think he was afraid of miss kitty cat good miss kitty cat cried as she watched him while he started up the lane i'm glad he's out of the way it would be awkward if i had to fight him while i'm doing what i'm going to do end of chapter twenty three